Thank you for watching Animals Talk on the Talk of San Diego. This is Tiana here at the Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. And we're going to wrap up this month's topic, which is Pet Poison Prevention Month or Awareness. Linda's the one that usually saves me on those things, and she's on a well-deserved vacation right now, so it's just me kind of flying solo. Um, so we're going to talk about the philodendron. That is the philodendron and one of my favorite plants. It's a tropical plant. It's really easy for a lot of people to take care of. It does great in the house because it needs very little light. So this is a very popular plant to have in your home, offices, and I've even seen these in a vet office as well. The philodendron uh, can be poisonous to cats and dogs. Um, it's generally mildly toxic to moderately toxic. Some of the symptoms you'll see are drooling, pawing at the mouth, oral pain. Uh, decreased appetite and vomiting. Um, the philodendron contains insoluble calcium oxalate crystals. Basically, when your dog bites this or your cat bites this, it breaks down and it gets into the skin. It only affects the mouth, the skin, and the GI system because insoluble means it doesn't get absorbed in the body. Uh, last week, Linda talked about the shamrock, uh, which is a soluble plant and gets absorbed very quickly in the body, which can be very toxic. This is a little bit on the lower scale, although some animals may have a very bad reaction which can close up the airway, and that is not good. It would be a medical emergency. So if you feel that your pet has ingested these plants, you can always call the ASPCA Pet Poison Hotline at 1-888-426-4435. The philodendron is one of my favorite plants, and I have them throughout my house, so if you have one at home, Keep in mind that you have to check the litter, so if the leaves are falling, you have to clean that up. Make sure these plants are put up high, so if you have a brand new puppy, make sure that plant is put up high and not dangling. Um, and again, cats and dogs, sometimes they love chewing on things. Make sure you are watching these plants or put them in an area where your, your dog or cat doesn't have access. And you can always go into fake plants. Fake plants are a good addition. But if you really want this plant in your house, just make sure you use the precautions I already said. Thank you for watching Animals Talk on the Talk of San Diego. Again, my name is Tiana here at the lovely Chula Vista Animal Care Facility.